Here we go. We all know exactly what time it is. So let's get to it. Pretty sure this will work. Hopefully. Yes, replace it. And choose a file. So make our images. And invert. Dang it. I would like a transparent canvas, please. Try it again. Mm. This is why I hate this sometimes. Delete, please. Make you a sticker. Put you there. Save. Yes, replace it. Once more. Excuse me. Take you out of it again. Select all of this. Get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Now then, you. Make you a sticker again. Put you into there. Done. Canvas. I would like a transparent canvas. That selection box, choose what you want, done. Choose all, done. Okay, drag it outside the background. Select tool. Get rid of the background, put it in. Okay. Okay. Control X, menu, new, don't save. Put you in canvas transparent on. Control Shift C. Yes, replace it. It's still not transparent. Forget it. Just forget it. 
I'll edit it directly. Manage select next. Done. Pull you out of the background. Select this. Delete. Put you back into there. Control X, Control V. Campus should be transparent. Save as an image. Save. Rebuild graphics, battlers, dark cyber German. There we go. Say that as an image. Stop it. Okay. Now then. Get to work on uh, swift swapping uh, these around. Invert. Save image as Dark Picado. Open them up. Add paint 3D. Manage select done. Need a shoes, please. Make sure that's add in. Need his shoes, please. There are very defined lines around his shoes. Come on, there we go. That should do it. Undo, manage, select, next. Remove all the black. <sighs> this is going to take a little while. Come yeah, on. Remove all the black. There are very defined white lines all around. Come yeah, on. Come yeah, on. Get rid of all the black background. Just get rid of all that. Come on. Come on. Keep deleting the stuff. Nope, come on. Delete it. Okay, keep going. We're getting somewhere now. Just keep getting rid of it. Keep getting rid of all. Keep getting rid of the, the black background. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. And that bit back in. <sighs> Come on, you stupid thing. All that. Come on. Put it back in. Maybe if I remove more of the stuff, it'll let me put it back in. Hmm, 
you know, and besides it's going to be, nobody's going to notice that. Now I need to get a shoes add in. Come on. No, I don't want... There we go. And now... Okay. Just about got it. There we go. That should do it, I believe. Okay. Let's double check. And we're good. Okay, control X, select all of this, delete. Canvas, be transparent. Control V. smaller. There we go. Height needs to be around 250 pixels. I My is the image not on the canvas. I just double check the sizes of these things before I do anything uh, dumb. 200 by 250, 94 by 250, 60 by 450. Now is it big? If I remember right. Huh. Yeah, around 250, 300 or so. Two fifty, please. Look, nope, that's good enough for me. Save, save, dark Takato. Don't save. Okay. And back down to here. Need to do Rika now. Invert. Save image as Dark Rika. Go over here, pull it up. And it was Paint 3D. Close that. Magic select. Next. Okay, lots of things I need to get solved here. Add in the shirt. I can get those out. Nobody's going to really notice those. Make sure we have our legs. And remove. Hmm. Remove. That's way too much. I'll add back in. Add her arm back in. Come on. Come on. Okay. You know what? Not worth it to get rid of that tiny area. No one's gonna notice that, right? Right. Done. Now then, select all of this. Delete it. Delete it. Select Rika again. Control X. Paste it onto the canvas. Let's see here. Select the canvas. Okay, I guess I need to shrink Rika down a bit. There we go. Canvas transparent. Height of about 250 pixels. Shrink Rika down again. 
little more. There we go. Okay. Save as Dark Rika. Okay. Don't save that. Let's just get all these done. I don't know how to spell his name. Invert. Save image as Dark Henry. Choose file. Invert. Save image as Dark. Kazu. Then Bales always get these two mixed up a lot. Because I definitely do. Okay. And finally, Dark Terriermon. Okay, that's everyone. What about Dark Gargemon? Add with Paint 3D. Close that. Magic Select. Next. Got him perfectly. Done. Take him out. Select the canvas. Delete. Select him, Control X, Control V, shrink him down a bit. Let's see, I'm the canvases. Yeah, that works for me. Let's save as an image, make sure it's transparent. Save. Dark Gargemon. Close it, don't save. Okay. Now let's do Henry. Max select. Next. Got him perfectly. Take him out. Select. Canvas. Delete. Put him back in. Canvas. Shrink him down to 250 pixels. Take Henry. Shrink him down. There we go. Menu, save, image, make the transparent, save, dark Henry, don't save, okay. Edit with paint 3D, close that, medic stack next. Okay, a little bit of work needs to be done. There we go. Remove this area. Oh, I already did move that one. Done. Yep, that's good enough for me. Delete. Put him back in. Make sure the canvas is 250. And shrink him down to fit. Yeah, right about there. Save, save, image. Transparency, save. Dark Kazu, don't save. Why am I doing that? Let's go with Ella Paint 3D, close that, and then select next. Okay, got most of him. Just need to do his shoes and bottom of his legs. Why did you get rid of that bit? There we go. There we go. Okay, that does it. Ooh, nope, don't want. Hmm. Max select, next. There's his legs and his shoes. Yep, don't auto fill background, done. 
Okay, delete that. Put him back in. Canvas 250, enter. Shrink him down. There we go. Transparent canvas. Menu. Save. Image. Transparency. Save. Dark Kenta. Done. Okay. Dark Marine Angemon. Next, next. Next. Done. Pull her out. Select. Delete that. Bring this one back in. What's the camera looking like? Hmm. Marine Angemon is pretty small. So 200 pixels width maximum. Right about there, yeah. Okay, make sure transparent canvas is on. Menu, save, image, transparency is on, save. Dark Marine Angemon. Save. We gotta close that one. We already got Rika. So Rio. Man select next. Done. Pull him out. Select this. Delete it. Take him. Put him back in. What's the canvas looking like? Need to be 250. Take him. Shrink him down. Yep. Transparent cameras on. Save. Image. Save. Dark Rio. Okay. Now I'd go check to see who I have. Okay. Sarajman, Garjaman, Gilman, Henry, Kazu, Kenta, Marine Angemon, Norman, Rika, Runo, Rio, and Takato. So, I need to do Dark Terriermon next. This one's gonna be a bit of a doozy because of how big the file is. Okay. Make sure his ears are fully in. Make sure these are in. His hands and feet. The scarf thing. Why did you get rid of those? And there we go. Done. Nope, undo. Magic select. Next. Okay. And these. And remove all the black. Come on. Work with me here. Not that bit. And just keep on going. Come on, get rid of all the black. That was a nice chunk that I was gotten rid of. Just keep on going. I'll fix that up in a little bit. Nope, stop putting more up there. Go all throughout in here. Get rid of all the black. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Okay, get it on one. Nope. Come on. There we go. 
Looks pretty good. Done. Okay. Now I need to zoom out. Put Terry Mount over there. Select this. Delete that. Put Terry Mount back in. And, uh. Want Terry Mount to be about a third of Henry's height. So, right around. 85 pixels high. Let's start shrinking Terriermon down. Okay. A little more. Just a little more. There we go. They're on transparent canvas. Menu, save, image, and save. Dark Terriermon. Okay, that was the hardest one so far. Okay then. Where was it? There it is. Oh, come on. There we go. So now... I can redo Dark Takato as Dark Takato. Apply and Dark Rika can be applied as Dark Rika. Which will then translate over to here. Perfect. Apply it all. And I need to change the maximum of this now. Okay. Let's get Dark Henry done. And Dark Terrier Mon. Go. Set for five thousand, like everything else, and maximum MP. Just get it over with. Okay. Now let's get the Digi Modify effects in. Control-C, Control-V, edit this for defense up, Control-C, V, V, enter, down, enter, there we go. Okay. Now then, how do we make Henry in this? <sighs> He's very smart. And I was a little bit on luck. So, Kado is all about being lucky. Rika has a lot less luck. Henry has more luck than Rika does, but a lot less than Takato, so probably about 350 luck. He's not the most agile of everybody. Hmm. So I'll put him around 300 agility. He's probably about the same in regards to Takato with his defenses. I forget. Was Henry one of the characters in Digimon that actually took martial arts? I know Cody did in the first season, and I know Mikey's friend did in the Digimon Fusion, just can't remember his name. I can't remember if Henry did. Hmm. 
magnet will drop pretty quick. Henry from Digimon Tamers. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's see here. Lock and bell. Let's see here. Hmm, don't say anything. So I'll leave them as is. Now then, I do need to find Terriermon. Figure out what attacks he has. Bunny Blast and Terrier Tornado. So skills. Scroll down. Bunny Blast. Hmm. That will be a good one for that. Now I'll figure it out later. So yeah, I'm going to make a special ability. MB cost of 50. Then four random enemies. A physical attack. Terry on fires his bunny blast. Damage HP damage. Ooh, wind damage, I would think. Base value is sixty. Physical. 30, okay, range 20, and cannot critical hit. And then Terrier Tornado. Okay, Natural Tornado. Terrier Man whips up a small tornado. This one will make a magic and then be cost of 16. Type HP damage, element, wind, quick. It does 10 physical and 50 magical. Yeah, can critical hit. Two random enemies, magical attack, and this is Terrier Tornado, okay, enemies, scroll down, Bunny Blast, and Terrier Tornado. Let's see here with Gilmon. He. Just an overall uh, slightly worse than Renamon at fighting, but with a lot more luck. Terriermon is going to be a lot more about the defense. Not so much about the luck, but so plenty of it. Most agile of Digimon. And we'll give him that much in both of those. Henry, final battle. And let's grab them. That's actually a perfect size for Terriermon. I did that really well. Okay. And we're done. 
scroll down here. Dark Kenta. Dark Marine Angemon. Naming consistent add add. Okay, that's way too big for Marine Angeron. I'll need to change that. That can come out of their point in time. Now then Marine Angemon from Tamers. Kahuna Waves. Okay. No, go away. Kahuna Waves. Hmm. This would probably be a good image for it. I'm gonna shoot some bubble hearts. Okay. It's a special attack. I think I'm gonna have it be an MP drain. Holy quick. It's going to be a base value of 17 with a magic of 70. You can definitely crit with a variance of 50. Who knows? Wait. Two random enemies. That's yeah, special. Enemies. In order to make this fair, I'm going to need to have Dark Kenta be capable of attacking. Let's see here. Up the G-modify, control C, control V, enter. Should be right down here. Control C, control V, control V, enter down, enter down, down. There we go. So this will be a reading for whatever I decide that to be. Standard 5000. And standard nine 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 nine. Okay. Hmm. Kenta is just going to be a big tank to soak up damage and be able to. Not really do too much besides that. He's just gonna tank damage so that Marine Angemon can very easily <sighs> drain of people's mana. Okay. Diameter. Hmm. Mm, extra parameter. Vision, critical, critical vision, and vision. Mm, nope. Special parameter. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, that's not gonna work. Triple egg. Uh huh. Substitute. That'll work. He will just keep on soaking up damage from Marine Angelon. Who's going to be very evasive. Highly lucky. But rather lackluster in the defense department. With a vision of 25%. And a magic attack of 300 to just really drain that mana. Can't forget to set this though. Kahuna waves. Okay. Dark Kazu. There he is. And. Dark Gargamon. Let me just see how this looks. And and that's perfect. Dark. Dark Garjavan. Thousand, thousand, nine, 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 nine. Okay. Now then, Garjavan is going to be a very heavy hitter, and is able to soak up a lot of uh, physical attacks. But he's not going to be. Uh, all too good at magical attacks or magical defenses. So he'll be a very easy to take out, won't have much agility, and he'll have a fairly average amount of luck. Let's see here. Modify. And. There it is, control C, control V, control V, enter, down, enter, enter, down, down, enter. Okay. So, with Kazu, I think I'm going to add another Digimodify for him. I'm trying to attack Digimodify. I card that takes defense to Fuel attack. How much did I make the other ones? A hundred? Okay. One ally. Certain hit. Digi modifiers. Trade off attack activate. And you need a digi device in order to be able to use it. So Parameter, add buff, attack, and 
debuff defense and it's going to be a big attack up for two turns and that dwindles back down that should work pretty well One needs that 50 HP or less. Hopefully that'll work. Now then, Gardramon. What attacks does he have? Just Guardian Barrage. Okay. Guardian Barrage. I think the symbol works pretty well for that. And then, it's a physical attack, repeats five times, and hits two random enemies. At the cost of 60, actually you should probably make it 150 MP. It does HP damage of the physical kind. It's going to get 50. Zero magical with a 40 physical. And it can most definitely critical hit. Uses Guardian Barrage. Okay. Enemies. Let's put it in. Okay. And should do it. Apply it all. Okay. So we have Takato, Rika, Henry, Kenta, and Kazu. So now it's time for Dark Rio. And Dark Cyber German. Okay, usual stuff. Now then, Rio is actually going to be different from the other tamers in that he is fully capable of attacking pretty well. Give him about Rika's stats. A little bit less. Actually, a little more near magic attack, but as a consequence, he is less agile. So probably about 200 agility, and he does not rely on luck at all. So he will be able to do a double attack. He's gonna do it less often than he will be digi modifying though. Pack up Digimodify. Defense up Digimodify. Control C, Control V, Control V. Enter, down, enter, enter, down, down, enter. Okay. Okay. Now then, Cyber German. Let's figure out what he does. Let's 
Desolation Claw and Cyber Nail. Okay. So skills. Desolation Claw. Where is it? I'll set for that. Fizz with a powerful attack. Gonna be a special attack. I think that. Sure that all these. Yep. Okay, we're good. Let's make sure. So, the station claw. I'm going to have it do about the same thing. As glitch, but it's also going to decrease max MP. It does not two random enemies. It uses desolation claw. Apply. And then cyber nail. I'll just have that be this. Slashes at his opponents. Excuse me. Special. One enemy double attack uses Cyber Nail. HP damage, physical, quick. 30 base value with a 30 physical. And it can crit with a variance of 30. Okay. All the way down, Desolation Claw, and Cyber Nail. Apply. Okay. Scroll down here, add Rio, and Dark Cybertron. That works pretty well. Okay, apply it all. Event making graphic down to here. Grab more of these guys. Actually, there we go. Enter. Delete. Control V. Enter. Let's make this one Henry. Make. This one, Kenta. Make this one, Kazu. And make this one, Ryo. Okay. I think that works pretty well. I just do some bell testing. That's very loud. Very loud. Okay. Ah! 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 Ah!
Deep hit. Air, magic. Water. And magic. Should have been. Let's get the line. Okay. Just blinding them. There. There. Perfect. Okay then. That should give us a pretty good start. Ooh, that's big 
damage from Gargamon. Oh. 
So some of these battles are going to be pretty tough to do back to back. But, they should work. And we'll just put the next floor going uh, up. Grab this event. Paste it up here. Enter it. Head dark Takato. One, two, three, four, five. Dark Rika. Dark Henry. Dark Kazu. Dark Kenta. Dark Rio. Takado. Okay. Okay. Dark Rika. Dark Henry. Dark Kazu. Dark Kenta. And Dark Rio. And then that will bring you up to level 3, but not yet. Okay. Level 3, we still need to do some work on after all. Let's fill that in. And actually, square it. Square it. There we go. All right, that's what I did. There we go. And now, I have this coming up. And then 
darkness going up. That'll be the Magic the Gathering layer. Now then, add this event. Nope. Bring up the level 3. Copy this event. And paste it here. You can't go back now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's run it and see what happens. New game. Here we go. Gain that good hit. Yeah. 
last not least is Julie. <laughs>
Tom's looking pretty beat up, Chaos is looking pretty beat up, and Cassie is looking pretty beat up. You. Now go heal up there too. I only just now realized just how much mana Chaos has. That chaos has a lot of mana now, huh? Okay. He has attribute sword and the shifter shield. Ah, that's why he can't use it now, I remember.
Bye. I didn't think it would be that difficult. I know what we're doing. Oh, so. Okay. So, next time. In order to progress this further, we need to add failure clauses for all of these. So, I'll just bring you right up to destruction. Plop you down right there. And then have him deliver his I would feel you spiel before sending them away. Also figure out the RP also figure out the sprite work for the Digimon people. Add in the Bakugan and then get to work on the Magic the Gathering level. Maybe even get to work a little bit on the Pokemon level. Actually, let's just fill it in really quick. There we go. And do the same thing here. And there we go, it's all filled in. Hmm. I also figure out a different thing to put here. Nope, that does not work. I'll figure it out somehow. Nope. No. Maybe... Yeah, it's good for now. I'll figure it out. Anyways... That's gonna do it for this stream. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll be able to actually get this done in the uh, semi-near future. So that people can actually play through this and tell me what they think. But anyway... So it's gone on for a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. Time to cut it down. That will be posted on YouTube on my YouTube channel under username of Atom Splitter. Hopefully you come check it out. See ya.